you saw the title, can you guess who talked me into doing this video? Yeah, you can blame it on Jared. You know what time it is. Turn down the volume because here comes some music. guys, before we get into it, this is the Bell Life Vlogs. They used to have a channel called The Bell Life. YouTube took them down because they apparently violated the terms of service, but these guys are a lot of fun, so go give Trey and Dum Dum a look-see. Uh, it's just a couple of hillbillies just being silly. Um, Trey, Dum Dum, and the puker. So, I like their channel when they, before it got taken down. Uh, so, like I said, Jared and I talked about it. We had a phone conversation earlier today and we decided that he told me how much his subscribers like the five fast knife reviews. I figured I'd do a quick video with five fast knife reviews. So I went through my case and picked out five knives that I carry a lot. They're my personal ones. I could do a quick review of just stuff that you might not see all the time. And so this was Jared's idea. So don't hold me responsible for this. I'm just kidding guys. I love Jared. He's got a lot of good content and it is a good idea. So without any further ado, let's meet up down at the bench and look at five fast knife reviews. Okay, apparently even though I'm an adult, I still fall for peer pressure. So five fast knife reviews. This is my Microtech DOC. Now this was the first knife we ever saw on the channel. I bought this knife full, full price. I paid full price for it. I've modified it myself. This knife was the first knife I bought that really was one of those ones that showed me how good a production knife could be. It's a Microtech done in LMAX, Microtech DOC. Bought this all the way back in the past in 2015. Can you believe that? How long I've had this? It is serialized and I did modify this, did the ceramic coatings and stuff on it, but this knife was one of the first, this was the very first Microtech I ever owned and I've loved it, I've carried it forever. It has that nightmare grind. It's got the nice thick front with the hollow, the deeper grind back here, a deeper flat back here at a different shallow angle. Cuts really well. The LMAX on this is done really well. No issues, nice pocket clip, really attractive package. Cuts great, carries surprisingly for as large as it is, carries really well and the action on this has from day one been just, just freaking amazing. Um, external stop pins, mixed strider style. It does have the proprietary hardware. At one point, this was like a uh, skateboard tape. And I have actually carried this knife so much that I wore the skateboard tape completely out of it. I think it gives it a unique look. Um, haven't had any real issues with this knife, except every once in a while, since I did disassemble it myself, this pivot will come apart. Um, but that's just because I never really Loctited it. So there's a good chance we're gonna Loctite this back together next time. It's been carried enough that it's been dropped. It's been dinked. You can see it's been carried and dropped anodizing on this the the um hard coat anno on this aluminum i don't think there's a company out there that can beat microtech for how they do their anodizing on their aluminum so there you go the microtech doc number one out the way two this is a knife that i lusted after so long and just never could find one and then i finally got with my buddy pip corona and he had one and he was willing to trade this with me just for services rendered. I, I refinished a bunch of his knives, sharpened a bunch of his stuff. This is the Mako. This is a Gavco and Ferrum Forge collaboration. This is a very attractive knife. Folding ash. This is one of the ones that the boys built in-house at the shop. Nice finish. Beautiful, beautiful milling. The lines on this are incredible. It is nice and thin behind the edge. 20 CV, nice big opening aperture, Hoback rolling detent, HRD on that, the rolling detent. Flipper action on it's amazing. Steel lock bar insert, just everything about it. This thing in hand just feels beautiful. And when you set it down, it's got a really cool, it's got some really cool lines to it. It looks really futuristic. It looks like something out of the future. Big finger choil up front with that with that harpooned area that actually acts like a thumb ramp, comfortable in both grips. The flipper on it is, the flipping action on this is just buttery smooth. Um, not, lots of little facets and angles on it. It looks like an aggressive 
creature, which it makes sense. They named it the Mako. I can honestly say this three point clip that Elliot used on his knives is by far my favorite pocket clip out there. It beats anything else I really have had on any other knife. And it's just because it's low profile, there is no play to it. You guys hear me complain all the time about knives that have wiggle to the pocket clip. It, it's not, should it be that big a deal? No, but it's just, it's a feel in hand when you're manipulating that knife that you can feel that pocket clip move. And I just don't like it. Just an all around gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous knife. And I'm, I'm glad it's part of my collection. Um, it's one of those collaborations that just won't ever come around again because I think the boys are just about done doing the mid tech style knives. So yeah, I, I did all the Riano on this and the blade finish. So this is one of those knives I like enough that I changed pivot, the pivot screw color and, and re-anodized all this stuff. So that's number two. Number three is a knife I haven't had all that long. This is relatively new to my collection. This was sent to me by Russell at Artisan Cutlery. This is their Mastiff and it is a large, aggressive, cleaver style knife it is really big but i will tell you this thing carries like a dream it cuts really well action on it is for a large knife is amazing and it's just one of those knives that don't come around all that often i do know that people don't like some of the things about it like the pivot and and the the you know the the logo but all in all i mean just really well done carbon fiber it's got this backspacer with artisan cutlery on it. It does have a large lanyard hole that's fully enclosed into that backspacer. In hand, it cuts so well. You don't need that big full choil up front, but if you do want, you can get up on it, even with big hands like mine. In hand, it is really, 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 really good. It's got such a cool, I mean, just the lines on it make you want to carry it. And like I said, just pulling this out, just having a knife like this and pulling it out, it just makes you want to cut something. Action on it, like I said, is great. The bearings in this thing are amazing. This is done in S35VN. Their S35VN is up there with some of the other companies that I've seen that do it, do it really well. Nice steel lock bar insert. Pocket clip on this one is comfortable. Even that screw that stands up does not make a hot spot. I would, I've thought about grinding that off or getting a, sm a shorter screw or something, but the fact is that in hand, you don't even feel that. Um, pocket clip tension is just about perfect. The carbon fiber, like I said, was done. And you can't, I mean, you have to use your thumbnail to even find the transition point. Like if you're just rubbing your finger, you can just barely feel it. Really, really nice overall knife. I do love this. Uh, and the fact is, this is one of those knives that you can flip open using the fuller that's on the blade. So nice lines, nice facets, really well ground, well done knife. Number three. Number four is another Ferrum Forge knife. This was, a, this was a gift from a friend of mine, Nico. Really good friend of mine. Uh, one of my best friends in the world. And he got this for me as a gift. Um, I had wanted one of these. This was my grail knife for a long time to go with. There was two knives that I said I had to eventually own, which was the Ferrum Forge Fortis and what the knife that's currently in my pocket, which is my Grimsmo Norseman. Both of these knives were grails for me, and I wanted a specific one which has this unique finish that's on it. That Don't worry, that's just tape. Um, this was tumbled for like a week in a synthetic sapphire, in, in, in a chamber with synthetic sapphires. And if you look, you can see it still has what the remnants of what looks like a stone wash, but it is perfectly polished. So you, it, that looks 3D, it's almost down in the blade. The way it feels in hand, incredible beautiful aggressive blade shape comfortable in hand another one of those knives with that three point bent uh, titanium pocket clip that Elliot used i blackened the hardware and added these black accents to the logo and in here the axe the thing is so incredibly smooth i think this is the smoothest ferrum forge i have they're never drop shut but they are just so buttery so there's no friction there it's like a sabenza there's nothing there. The jimping on it is really well done. And all faces of that blade have that same finish on it. Lock up on it's incredible. Not even at 50% yet. Steel lock bar insert with the rolling detent. Single-sided pivot. I do like the single-sided pivots. I, I find that they don't work loose as often. It's, it's a big knife. It's a heavy knife, but it feels really nimble in your hand. It really feels well. I carried this knife so much until I thought about the fact that I just could not ever duplicate that finish. There's just no way to duplicate this finish. So really, really love this knife and just look at it. It's, it's 
It's freaking beautiful. There's number four. Number five is a knife that I bought. This was the first Wii knife that I bought. You guys saw this. You guys have saw this in a video, have seen this in a video that just went up recently. This was the free, first Wii knife that I bought. I just loved the way it looked. This is very similar to an actual Japanese style Tonto. There's no distal taper on this blade. Really attractive look to it. And it cuts like a dream. So we basically, they didn't do any thinning of the blade. They just let that angle go up and just brought it all the way to the tip. It can be a nightmare to sharpen, I'm not gonna lie. But just the look of this knife, the way it feels, the way it acts, it's super, super comfortable in hand. Probably one of the coolest aesthetically pleasing knives I have, one of the really attractive knives, all these little points. It looks like something that belongs in a science fiction movie. Uh, they've done variants of this that are really similar. So this is an S35 VN blade, proprietary hardware, lockup on this is great. Steel lock bar insert, it, you, it's a hidden one. It's not one of the ones like uh, like the boys at Farm Forge use this big one that you can definitely see the transition from the titanium in. It's more of a hidden one. Um, their logo right there on the pivot but then there's just basically the blade is sterile the finish on it is great now i've used this as you can see i've used this knife a lot it's got some scratching and things like that but it was a really sterile blade the only place you're going to find any markings on this blade are the blade steel which is marked right inside there and when it's open you can't see it but you can see s35bn in there just an all-around great knife, speed holes, and it's so comfortable. It really is. It just kind of melts into your hand because it's another one of those knives. I think I talked about it with the steel will. Really thick, so it fills your hand really well, but it's not so heavy because if you can see down inside of there, there is, I don't know if you can, it's, the lighting's pretty bad, but there's a lot of milling here to lighten those scales. So you've got this big, heavy blade with relatively light scales. It gives it a nice tip forward weight that I like in a lot of knives. So when it's tip heavy, it, it just feels right. You know where that blade is at all times. So that was number five. There was five fast knife reviews. I will meet you guys up and we'll do some final thoughts. Guys, that was five fast reviews of knives that I own that you guys have seen a bunch of times and it might be regurgitated content, but we're all trying to play that algorithm to get our channels seen. So Sorry, and I'm guaranteed there's a handful of you guys that haven't seen any of those knives because I did reviews on them years ago, and so I just thought it would... He, he's right. It's kind of a good idea to show things that maybe you guys haven't seen in a long time. So there you go. That was five fast ones. Uh, if you guys like the channel, if you like the content, please give the videos a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why. If you want to support the channels, because like I always say, support the channels you love because none of this is free. Uh, you can simply just share the videos with as many people as possible, but if you can support the channel monetarily, there is a membership tab for my memberships that is down below in the descriptions. There are numerous affiliate links to include tools, other knives, things like that. If I can find links for any of these knives, I will put them in. Uh, and there is also an applause tab. They used to call it applause. I think they call it super like now, but at any rate, it's another way to support the channel. If you like just a specific video, you can click on that and just give it a monetary donation. It's like super chat for a recorded video. Guys, I love you all. Go check out Jared's channel if you haven't already. It's great. Go check these, uh, the guys that I mentioned earlier, The Bell Life. They need some support. They lost their main channel uh, due to YouTube's ever-changing algorithm. So uh, not to pontificate on that too much. Um, I love you guys. Take it easy. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep it clean in the comment section so I don't have to moderate that. Take it easy, guys. Right, so, guys, that was fast five. Re five. All right, guys, that was fast five reviews. I say five fast knife reviews. Let's do this one more time.